hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new if you're new here my name is Rayma, which means a fresh spoken word from god and i believe that i have one for you today surprise you guys i have braces i literally just got these like two hours ago so i'm still trying to get used to them and get a feel for them in my mouth and everything but i'm super excited to have them and to just perfect and correct my smile and just you know feel more confident in my skin one of my very first bullies ever in life used to call me spongebob because i have small square teeth and it just feels really good to you know be fixing this and just have this moment right so yes i have braces it's going to be like this for a little while because my teeth weren't too messed up but yeah guys i have braces i hope you guys like them let me know what you think in the comments i'm still trying to get used to this feel in my mouth so bear with me okay but today i came to deliver a word to somebody and let them know that you do not look like what you have been through sir ma'am you look good okay and I want you to know that you wear it well, okay? You make life look effortless and easy. And people would not assume just by looking at you some of the things that you have been through and some of the tough times that you have had to overcome and endure. You don't wear your pain on your sleeve and you barely vent to people, right? Um, you rather talk to God or a very close friend about things that are troubling you in your life. And most people that are chosen by God and have very close relationships with the Lord don't have a whole lot of friends because we are the remnant and we have to seek godly counsel. And unfortunately, there's just not too many people that can provide that for us. So more often than not, we talk to the Lord rather than close friends or family. So people don't know what's going on in your life. And because you don't wear your pain on your sleeve like a badge of honor, or you don't start to treat people bad because of what's going on in your own personal life, people usually, usually have no clue what you're going through or that you may even be experiencing a tough time you have been gifted to endure and because you don't um wear your pain on your sleeve like a badge of honor a lot of people would assume that trouble doesn't even find you because you continue to smile you continue to show up you treat people right and you don't show up with a low countenance and you know just seeking for someone to be like what's wrong you seem sad like you know you don't go around fishing for that sort of attention right so people think that trouble never finds you, that life is easy for you, everything works out for you, that your life is oh so perfect and that, you know, nothing ever goes wrong in your life. And that's not true. You just take it to the Lord in prayer and leave it there and you allow God to work out the details, right? So you have been gifted to endure and to overcome and you wear your gift well, you look good, okay? And God blesses you publicly because of the battles you two overcome privately. Every time people turn around, you're being blessed again, but they don't know that a lot of nights you cried alone in your pillow to the Lord. So people will often envy your wins, but they would never ever want to endure your storm. Pay no mind to them and keep winning with the Lord because they may be mad, but God is just getting started. Okay. So you have cried out to the Lord. You have endured. You have, you know, overcome with God on your side and he has given you beauty for ashes. He has given you the oil of joy for your pain and he has given you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You don't walk around with a low countenance. You don't walk around looking heavy. And you still have this praise on your lips, just this glow and this joy that you have even through your storm. So people don't think that you go through anything. You don't look like you've been through nothing, but they have no clue the things that you and the Lord have overcome privately. So I just want you to know that that, that might be some of the reasons why you experience some hate in your life is because you look so good. You wear it so well. People think that nothing is happening in your life, but they have no clue. The tears you have cried at night, the times where you called out to the Lord and just been like, God, why am I going through this? Why do I have to endure this season? But you, you know, you kept 
the Lord on your side. You stayed rooted in your faith and you allowed God to get you through that season. And you just kept showing up, treating people right. You know, you didn't start treating people bad because things were going on in your own personal life. And people just don't know how you do it, okay? How you keep winning, how you keep showing up blessed. And why it seems like you never go through anything. It's because you look so good, okay? <laughs> so I just want to deliver this word to somebody today and let them know, like, keep showing up in this way. Continue to keep wearing your gift well, your gift to endure and overcome and just continue being you because you wear your gift well, okay? You make it look so effortless and so easy and you and I know that it's not. However, God has given us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for our pain and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, okay? So just continue to be you and do what you do because you look so good doing it, okay? So I pray that this message gets to who it's for and that it blesses you today and gives you peace in knowing that you have a glow about you that is just, it it confuses people, okay? But like this video, you guys, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.